Not too long ago, I did a video on Amber Heard's net worth, just for fun, basically, just to see where she's at. And also, because one site said it was 50 million, which I thought was way overshot. Turns out it's more like 500,000. I think it's more like negative 10,000 or negative something. But anyway, I figured I'd check out Johnny's. This is from Parade from January 21st, 2024, so new enough for what we need it for. And it says, Johnny Depp's net worth in 2024 is a far cry from his pirate's peak, which might be true. I don't actually know, which is why I looked it up. So let's see what we got. Though he may blame ex-wife Amber Heard for his financial woes, Johnny Depp's net worth in 2024 is largely the result of his own spending habits, many of which began before he even ever met her. Okay. When Heard and Depp first split in spring 2016, more than a year before the Me Too movement gained traction in Hollywood, Heard accused him of domestic violence and father restraining order against him. Depp sued the son and his partner publisher for libel and calling him a wife beater in a headline about his and Heard's relationship. Depp lost in 2022, as Judge Nichols said, the paper's claims were shown to be substantially true based on his and Amber's opinion, and Depp was denied an appeal in the case a year later. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly why we're starting with this, but maybe they've got an explanation. Simultaneously, Depp infamously sued Heard for $50 million in damages over a 2018 op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post about surviving DV. All right, hold up. Not here for a history lesson. Once in a while, I'll repeat the basics. But I thought this was a financial article. They talk about how Depp won the case, but Heard got two million too. Okay, let's get to it. Skip. Still going on about the trial. The trial exposed a lot of dirty laundry for both sides, including their finances. Blah 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 blah. Okay. How did Johnny get famous? Where are we here? What's this about? My apologies, but net worth in 2024 is what the topic is supposed to be. Depp was in Platoon, Nightmare on Elm Street, 21 Jump Street. We know. All good stuff. Well, actually, I didn't know Platoon. Cool. All right. Here we go. What is Johnny Depp's net worth in 2024? So what was with that big, long-winded intro that was mostly negative towards Johnny. Celebrity net worth estimates Johnny Depp's worth in 2024 at 150 million, but that's unlikely because he's been in a lot of debt for years. I think it's likely. He was worth a lot more before that, so that seems like a low ball to me, but that's my opinion. I'm no financial expert like Parade here who needs to start an article with his career, 21 Jump Street, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Trial, blah, 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 but okay. And they say he allegedly made $650 million just between 1999 and 2016, but eventually outspent his earnings after a series of box office flops and an alleged reputation for being difficult, late, and unprepared on sets. So let's see. You make $650 million. You've got that money, but then it goes down because you were late on set and some movies didn't make money after that? I'm not seeing where that makes sense. I'm starting to think this isn't quite accurate, but that's what they got here. Okay, they list some numbers here finally. According to the Daily Mail, Depp's former financial managers said in yet another lawsuit that the actor's lifestyle, including his private island, $18 million yacht, and 14 mansions around the world cost about $2 million per month to upkeep, with his properties costing around $75 million. All right, I don't own mansions, not to that caliber, but I'm not sure why they'd cost $2 million to maintain. I mean, you got a mansion, you got to hire some lawn keepers and ground keepers and people to keep the pipes moving and things. But you could probably hire a staff for something like, I don't know, a couple of hundred grand for the year or something. So maybe they're overshooting it there. But I can't claim to know what it takes to upkeep a mansion like that. It just seems overshot. Like six people at 30 grand a year, 
would only be like 200K, even if it was like 10 people at like 30 grand a year, which is probably doable on average. What's that like around not even 300,000? So yeah, can't quite see that. They said he had 45 luxury cars and spent 11 to 14 million for a private jet. Maybe. He also spent $5 million to spew the ashes of his friend, late writer Hunter S. Thompson from a cannon. Okay, maybe, but $5 million is a very small chunk of like six hundred fifty. Just saying. An interesting way to spend $5 million, but that's up to him and I'm sure Hunter would have been happy. Cool. Anyway, not the best article from Parade, but the bottom line is they estimate $150 million. I was thinking more like $250 million I heard like two years ago or something, so... I doubt it dropped so far, so fast. But here's one source. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I think that was a lisp, but I'll let it go. I'm tired. It's like 1 a.m. What was I saying? Right. If you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.